progress through your enlightenment for one word. Um, the Can I realise it? <laughs> as you progress in love? Uh, uh, through love, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> the DNA changes that can take place mm -hmm. as you um, change the, uh, um, as you work through the emotions in your body that, what you call errors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, can you explain that in more depth? Uh, certainly, but why would you be concerned about it? As a question. Mm. You better cough up, kid, to make <laughs> <laughs> um, Because the DNA strands capable of changing, and, and, and my question is, as the DNA strands change and go up and then come back together and change and go up again, mm -hmm. um, as you clear those um, love errors from your body, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So yeah. you you already know the answer to your question. Yeah, sort of. So you're just <laughs> testing the waters here. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, yeah. I'm just waiting. Your ex could you um, explain that more to? I can feel the emotion inside of you that that varies why you've asked the question. Yeah. Can yeah. I address that emotion? Yeah. yeah okay. okay. The emotion is that there is that there is still a very strong desire in you to have everything metaphysical or physical in in nature. Because it's something that you can understand and grasp and see. Does that make sense? So, um, I don't totally... Well, I know it happens, but I don't say that I totally understand it. No, but there is this yeah. desire to understand it. Yeah, right. Because, uh, because you would like to understand things at an intellectual level, at the physical level. The problem is, is that the physical level is the lowest level of your existence. And when you try to understand things at the physical level, you're actually preventing the understanding of everything at the soul level. Mm. So if you develop your soul, you will automatically get an answer about this DNA changes that are occurring. And you know what? When you develop your soul, you won't care about the answer. Mm. You won't even be concerned about what's happening to your body. All you'll do is you'll enjoy it changing. Do, do you see the difference? Yeah, I wouldn't have thought. I mean, it was interesting and curious in the in the beginning, and then you sort of let it go. But it's also something that you've never looked at before either. So yeah, there is that um, intellect that comes into it. But exactly. I don't have the answers. I'm not criticising. No, no. All no, I'm, I'm saying, just saying is, I don't have the answers for it all either. Yeah. But, but all I'm saying is, as you yeah. develop at the soul level, actually, you will understand what's happening to your physical body very, very quickly, yeah. and you won't care. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Now, the truth. Are you just saying that's part of the process? Um, the physical body is just keeping up with you. Well, the physical body is just keeping up with your soul development. That's exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, I was just going to remind you of the diagram yesterday with the soul and the uh, material body and the spiritual body. And they're just appendages of the soul. And so your soul affects the functioning of both of those bodies. So. As, as you've already identified, as you deal mm. with your emotions, it mm. affects your physical body structure. Yeah. So it's, it's a very logical kind of a... Yeah. Um, yeah. So don't focus on the physical body structure in this. Because if you focus on the physical body structure, you take away your own power to change your physical body structure. Because mm. the real power to change it happens at the soul level. Mm. So focus on the soul development, focus on the emotions at the soul level. Mm. It's the emotions that destroy the DNA in your body. Yes, that's, uh, yeah, that's exactly right. And yeah, you I know mean, that. Yeah. So, so yeah. don't focus on the body anymore. No. Focus on the emotions. Yeah. Right? And the question was based because there's still this intellectual desire to focus on the body. Yes. Do you see what I'm saying? There's an emotion in you. If I focus on the body, I can see something happening. I can feel it happening. But when you focus on the soul, how many of you start feeling like, I don't really know what's happening now, <laughs> you know? Like, this is where we go, you see, emotionally. What we do is we start saying to ourselves, like, oh yeah, I, I got rid of an emotion last week, but what good did that do me? Mm -hmm. Well, honestly, what it did was it changed some DNA structure in your physical body. It mm -hmm. changed the structure of your spirit body. You look more beautiful at the spirit body level. That will soon affect you in the physical body level. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if you keep going on this process and reach it one with God, you'll look 25 again and mm. be able to do anything you want while you're on earth and, and choose to go when you want to go. Mm. Like that's what will happen in your future. Mm. So why focus on the physical body and the metaphysics? 
if we focus on the metaphysics and we focus on the physical, what we're actually doing is just distracting ourselves from our soul. Mm. And in the end, it's the soul that's going to accomplish everything. In the future, you won't even have a physical body, so there'll be no metaphysics. Mm. And you won't have a physical body, so there'll be no physical. Mm. So focus on the soul, but live in these bodies. So don't deny these bodies. Remember we talked about that yesterday. Don't deny anything that's going on. If my body is, you know, got a big scratch down on this side and I'm a bit distorted on this side and my muscle here is pulling on this side, that's telling me all sorts of things about my soul. So if I go along to a chiropractor and get clink, 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 clink all back in, that's great for my body, but it didn't address anything in my soul. <coughs> and it was my soul that created that and we created this and created that. So what emotion is it, is it that's created all of these things? So I spent years of my life spending a lot of time trying to fix up the physical body. I spent seven years of my life being a body, you know, being bodybuilding to fix up my <laughs> physical body. And in the end, none of it did any good because I wasn't concentrating on the soul. But as soon as I start concentrating on soul, physically everything starts repairing. Everything starts getting better. So is there going to be a point when science is going to accept that the, you know, as you heal the emotions in your body, that we, that they are going to understand that connection between the illnesses that we create yep. and how we can clear it. Yep. That, yeah. Yep. Um, but that's only possible when a person gets into an alignment state, and then they can actually see the difference between the person in the alignment state and the person not, and actually okay. st start measuring what's happening when that person heals other people. You know, so so in the first century, if I had a doctor following me behind, following behind me, and and measuring the people that were healed, there would have been medical veri verification of what was going on at the scientific level, mm. right? And in the future, that will happen, but only when the medical profession is is ready for that to happen as well. Mm. And honestly, at the moment, there are a lot of medical people in the medical profession that are really attracted to the divine love path. Mm. So quite a number of our friends are either doctors or, or um, psychologists or so, so psychiatrists and who are all very attractive to the Divine Love Path because of it, it, it matching up with a lot of their professional experience. And so in the future these people will become leaders in their fields of demonstrating the, rela the relationship between the emotional condition of the soul and the physical and spiritual bodies. Mm. Mm. But you're certainly right, the DNA structure of your body changes. <laughs> <laughs> but you knew that when you asked me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, just, you said about three words there at one stage, and I thought, well, really, that would have been enough for the answer. But, anyway. <laughs> but you know, Mary often yeah. says that I speak too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, is part of that tied up in Seek First the Kingdom? Yes, uh, totally. In the first century, I said, seek first the kingdom and all these other things will be added to you. What I really said was, seek first God's love and all of these other things will be added to you. And, and that is the truth. If you seek first the divine love entering your soul, everything else you will come to know and understand completely without studying it. You know, you'll be, you'll be like a person who picks up a guitar, never played it before, and plays it instantly. Wouldn't that be great with everything that you touch? Because that's what you'll be like. Because you've say, you've, when you seek first the kingdom, when you get to the point of abundance, you are totally in tune also with yourself. You're totally in tune with music, art, or all these other aspects of your life. And you can do all of these things so effortlessly. Your soul is this awesomely powerful creator that can do all of these things effortlessly. All we're doing at the moment is using our mind to create these things, but we're not experiencing the joys that we could be experiencing at the soul level. And that's what I meant by seek first God, <coughs> seek first God's love, and all of these other things will be added to you. Try to not get distracted. If you get distracted, it just takes a longer time for all of these other things to be added to you. The law of distraction. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's terrible to get distracted. You know, the, all stagnation in the spirit world is about distraction. In fact, if you think about it, all of your stagnation here on earth is about distraction. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? 
you know, what do we do? Uh, you know, there's an emotion coming up, but gee, there's a nice show on telly right now. <laughs> so, which one takes priority? That is great, you know. That's often what happens, isn't it? We constantly get distracted, 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 and in the process, just slow down our own prog progression, which slows down in the end all of these other things being added to us. So it's a very, very powerful statement to remember. Seek first God's love. Everything else will be added to you. Everything else. And that's what I've experienced in my life. So, so in the spirit world in particular, there was so much I enjoyed because of firstly seeking first God's love. Yeah. Well, it 